Hello. <sighs> Treatment day. I am shitting myself. But my mum's brought us all to with us for a bit of food before I go. Um, yeah, a bit nervous to say the least. Oh, she's a little mad and looking at kicking off. She, she wants to try a bit of that. Have a yolly. She's a little mad do you know that? I'm oh, yo yo's. It's called yolly. Yeah, they're yo yo's. She likes them. Oh, nice. Little fruit things. Um, Strawberry. I, um, I didn't sleep so well last night. I didn't. Anything like that, I just couldn't sleep. Um, so I'm just probably sleep tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to be more scared. Why? It's chemotherapy tomorrow. But yeah, I thought I'd just say good morning and let you know what's happening. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Supposed to correct me, doesn't she? I managed to show up before I went. My roots are coming through. My hair's growing quick. <coughs> Won't be for long, will it? What do you mean? Okay. Yeah, so. <coughs> She's nervous. But yeah, it's. Um, I'm gonna go so I can eat my food. Probably vlog you when I'm on the car. In the car. Bye. Hello. So I'm in um, Grand Fluid Hospital now. Say hello, Daryl. Hello, Daryl. Sarcastic twat. I'll get you no sweeties on the way home. And I've got a big bag of them in my bag ready. Just having a quick pan out now before I go over. I am. Um, scared to say the least. I don't know why I'm scared. I suppose it's everyone's weakness to the unknown, isn't it? <sighs> it was horrible leaving Anya and Esme because Anya was Anya was showing signs of being very, very, very scared, but also showing signs of being very strong and trying not to cry in front of me and show weakness. Who's she kidding? I'm her mother. I know when she's upset. So, yeah, it's, um, I'm scared. But thank you to everyone for the messages that you've um, sent on Facebook, um, WhatsApp, text messages, Snapchats, the comments on Facebook and everything. Thank you. All the stuff I got, it means a lot to me. It really does. Um, obviously, this is the radiotherapy. What the fuck's on my eyebrow? I saw on my eyebrow. Kind of full of sores. Obviously, this is radiotherapy and it won't take long. Tomorrow is my big day. Tomorrow is my chemotherapy day. So, that's going to be all day, I think. Which I'm not looking forward to that. But. Sat here, stuck for words. So I just troll off. Um, Daryl, there and annoy him. And shall I remind people how bad he was in bed last night? Oh wait, no, that sounded bad. That sounded bad. I meant snoring, not not that way. No. Up the window over in a minute as well. Okay. He was snoring last night, so I pinched his nose. And I pinched his nose again because he kept on snoring. In the end, I woke him up and told him he wasn't a motorbike, and he laughed in my face. Laughed. That man manages to troll me when he's flat out sleeping, when he's being woken up, when he's awake, all stuff like that. What do you have to say for yourself? Huh? What do you 
what you have to say for yourself. Broom, broom, bitch. That's what it is. I was in trouble when I get home for being cheeky. I'll set Yvonne on him next time she's up. She's back here. Right, I'm gonna, what time is it? Damn stupid phone cut me off again then for some reason. Stupid. So, I'm gonna head off to the ward in a minute. I don't know if I have to have any bloods taken off. They need to do this, that and the other. I don't know. But I shall get back to you all soon. I hope you're all having a good Monday. Hope you're all enjoying your day. I'm going to put these crisps in my bag for later and I'm wasting them. With the rest of my sweeties and crap I've got in there. Look. I'm going to have to put that in a proper. There we go. I'm gonna have crushed crisps. So I shall plug you all back when I'm out of there and let you know how it went. Bye. Hello! Well, I'm out and it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. But I've had my dates. Snazzy all my little appointments ready for my radiotherapy. Tell you what, the nurses inside there are lovely. They really are. Um, it lasted about ten minutes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah about ten minutes that lasted. Yeah, about lovely nurses. You know, she basically said I won't notice any changes yet, but I'm all palpitatey today and sweaty because. Obviously, I was worrying for no reason. Um, but, um, yeah. Yeah. You know, she says the signs will show up in, say, two, three weeks, and it'll just be tiredness, map change in bowels. I might. What else did she say? I might need to pee more. I might get cystitis a little bit. Um, all that I'm gonna have to open this door a little bit fresh air. Are you hot? Mm -hmm. Ooh. A bit of cool air in. Steve just gone to the toilet. Um I went to the to get a butty afterwards because I couldn't eat earlier. I was so nervous, I was so scared and yeah, people can say Daryl included can say there was nothing to worry about in Ostfran, it was only a little bit but you got to understand, I was scared. No, and I think it was more scared of the unknown rather than any physical pain or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, that went good. Got my appointments for the next eight weeks. Here's where we didn't know. I've got five weeks of chemotherapy and radiotherapy now and once that five weeks is up that's when I get my three weeks of internal treatment. So eight weeks I've got treatment for. I finished my treatment. Now, I remember this date people because I'm going to go party and I'm not. I'm probably going to have a pan at home but on the 5th of October 2017 I will hopefully have my last session of internal radiotherapy and hopefully the cancer will be gone. Cross your fingers guys. As for my feelings right now, I am so very, very tired. I couldn't shut off properly last night as much as I tried. Um, I couldn't sleep and when I did finally not off to sleep. It wasn't long after Miss Ward decided to uh, wake up and scream. Yeah, Daryl. Uh -huh. And then I'd settle her back down, and then she'd randomly scream again, and randomly scream again. So she that was for about an hour. She did that. So yeah. 
can't believe this is going to go into the um, October stage. And still then, after all that, it might not go. They'll check me out and see how it's doing and all of this might not have been for nothing and it would still be there. It might be shrunk a bit, but it might still be there. That's when I'm hoping they'll give me a hysterectomy. I'm really hoping, guys, that they give me a hysterectomy after the end of this. We shall see, though, yeah? So it's quite a nice little sight over there, apart from the horrible clouds. Let me see if I can turn you around a bit, yeah? Let's see if I can spin the camera around. Part of it doesn't spin the camera around. No, no, it doesn't spin the camera around. What phone doesn't do that, Daryl? Shh, I'm a bit up to date technology. As you can see, our bright red, pink, orangey, it looks orange on that, but it's like a pinky colour. I wore a bright pink top today because I thought, you know what, I'm not going to go in there wearing all black, however, I do have a black top underneath. But I wanted to wear a bright colour, bright positive colour to give off bright positive vibes. Positivity is the key here. Steve's just gone to the toilet by. I'm quite happy. I get to walk home. Well, sit in the car. I'm going to eat these. To put them there for now. Then I've got these, because I think I deserve them. I might share with Daryl. Then the big kid in me bought these. And he's probably going to steal these. Woohoo! We're off. Right. I shall get back to you all later. Bye. Hello. It took ages to start recording then. So. I'm not feeling too good. It's not because of the treatment. I, I'd be silly to say that. But. Dopey head the other day, forgot for a whole day to take her pain meds and all the stuff like that. So her head was up her ass and now I'm suffering. By God, I'm in pain tonight. It really hurts. It's all down both my hips and everything. Other than that, I've had a pretty good day. Got to meet some of the nurses who are bloody lovely. They are. They're, you know, I know they're trained. Oh. Oh. I know they're trained to be a certain way. They're trained to talk to people. But you can tell this isn't just training this is proper human empathy this is i wish you weren't in this situation but you are so we're gonna help you that kind of treatment and they were they were lovely to talk to daryl got to meet what, what was her name the first nurse we spoke to the one that was really really nice elena i think was it i think that was it yeah i'll 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 end i'll i'll end I went no smart. So anyway, she was bloody lovely. Ow. Ow, sorry. She was bloody lovely. She explained everything. Explained what's gonna be happening, what they're doing, all stuff like that. And it hit me today as well hit me what I've got or oh, you know what I'm battling I know it hit me quite hard I think for such a long time I've put it to one side what I'm battling but now in my eyes I'm going head on with it I'm battling it and all that sort of stuff and I'm going to get pain I'm going to get fatigue I'm going to get ill and all stuff like that I finally, you know, I've realised 
just how <clears throat> draining it's going to be. So, uh, what's that? It's good. Oh, that's that bounty hunter's bounty man, isn't it? Hitman's bodyguard. Hitman's bodyguard. Oh. That's good. But yeah, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared for tomorrow, though. Tomorrow is invasive. It's in the veins. It's going into my body. It's, it's going to hit my body. I don't know how quick, but, you know, I'm a bit nervous. But the only thing I can do is grip my teeth, pick my big girl pants up and fight it and go ahead and do it. Whenever you see me stop like this, it's not because I'm being rude, it's because I keep on getting pain in my hip and it's really, really hurting me. I'm waiting for my pain med medication to kick in. It's horrible. Hey, look, I've got PJ top on for once. Instead of just the covers over my bed. But, today was tiring to say the least. I tried to think what tomorrow's gonna be. Try and drink a bit of water tonight. I've not done too bad, I don't think. Drank a fair bit of water today. But I need to remember to drink water 20 minutes before my radiotherapy. Ah, uh, me, I forgot that, didn't I? But we're in bed early tonight, we've got an early start. What time? 6.30, wake up. Ugh. Go downstairs, get me a panad, otherwise I will kill people. <laughs> Daryl won't want to be in a car with me for two hours or an hour and a half or whatever it is if I haven't had a proper cup of tea in me. E.g. a Daryl made cup of tea. I'd, I'd turn the camera around but he's not in the covers. <coughs> yeah, Daryl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very tired tonight as well. I'm really hoping that the pain relief can kick in. But I think the doctors can only prescribe up to a certain level of milligrams really, uh, babe. I think if I spoke to the doctors in the ward tomorrow and explained how painful it's getting, even with taking the <coughs> put on plur, bleh, slow release, it's easier to say. Morphine, liquid morphine, zapping, ibuprofen. I shouldn't be in any sort of pain, but still I am, so I'm going to have to speak to them tomorrow, see if they can prescribe me something alongside the morphine instead of the zapping that I can take. I swear to God, if they prescribe me tramadol, I'll laugh at them. <laughs> That's my, uh, what's, what is it? Again, Superman, I've... Completely derped out. That's my crib tonight. That will keep me awake all night, keep me in pain, and keep me itching. For some reason, it does not cure my pain. It, it just makes me itch all over. I end up clawing half my arms off. Very tired. So very, very tired. Also, and I know this sounds soppy. I know it sounds stupid. I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting me and being there for me and just, you know, then sending messages to say, you know, I watch your blogs and I hope you're doing well and all this and all that. It, 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 it means a lot to me. Now, in the future, if I don't, if I don't message back straight away, please don't take it. I don't want to speak to you. I'm just probably going to be completely zapped because you've got to remember I'll be coming home and dealing with three children. I say me, I mean Daryl. I just have to deal with Odin who won't leave me alone at the moment. He's leaving me alone now because Daddy's here. But as soon as Daddy turns over, puts his phone on and goes to sleep, he'll sneak up on the bed and he'll know I can't say no to him. So, uh, 
I know he's not stupid. He acts stupid that Odin does, but he is not. He knows when Daddy goes <coughs> to sleep. Your Daryl. Mm-hmm. And he knows when to sneak up and he knows exactly where to go. Ow. I hate this pain. It was horrible leaving Anya today as well. Kind of as me just thinks I'm going to the doctor. Anya understands why. And you could see that she was trying her best to be strong as to not upset me. You know, who is she kidding? I'm her mum. I gave birth to her. I know the ins and outs of her little mind. She uh, she can't hide feelings from me. But I, uh, I'm not going to stay on long tonight. Because I need to go to sleep. And, uh, yeah, <coughs> really, but I'm pretty zapped and tired as it is. Tomorrow's the big day, the big chemo day. Chemo and radiotherapy tomorrow. I don't know if it's radiotherapy first, then off to chemo to sit there for a couple of hours, hours, I don't know. Chemo then radio. But my radiotherapy's in the morning, isn't it? So how long am I... My radiotherapy not early tomorrow, no? No, not very well. No. But we're leaving at seven anyway. So, I'll get gone. I'm actually going to put telly on for a little bit. I'll just look at my phone and try and get a good night's sleep. And uh, I shall block you all tomorrow. Good night.